Hey everyone, uh, so this is 20 NHL predictions for the 2020 season. The Hockey Guy versus Talking Habs with Rick. So I got this uh, idea from a Hockey Guy video where he took, um, it was from the uh, Hockey News Magazine, The Pool Guide, I guess. They took, it was called Ask the Experts, I guess, and they took five or six experts, they had 20 questions or 20 things, and they all gave their responses, and the hockey guy gave his. So I'm going to go me against the hockey guy. Uh, yeah, it was from that article. Yeah, I'm going to go up against him. I'm reading my, my points. Uh, so And then at the uh, part two kind of, um, well, I guess part two, I, I adapted it to the uh, Habs, and I think I've got 17, 17 predictions for the Habs. So that's part one is the NHL 2020, me against Hockey Guy, and part two is 17 predictions for the Habs for the 2020 season. And then I guess once that all, it's all done, let me know in the uh, comment section what your picks would be that would are different than mine. So let me know what your picks would be that are different from mine uh, if from this video. And that's all right here. <laughs> that's that's kind of corny. At uh, Talking Habs with Rick, and that's me. Um, if you love the Habs like I do, and I do love my Habs, subscribe and ring the notifications bell uh, down there to get all of my videos, live streams, contests, and podcasts dedicated to the Habs and all things hockey. Okay, so we're back with the board. Right now, that's the, be the best I can do. I need a camera that I can pause and uh, start again. My other camera, the, the widescreen, I can't pause. It's hard to do some of these things uh, straight through. They make them way too long and they're long enough already. So I like to do, use this video. So as I get a little bit uh, bigger, I will uh, be buying new equipment. And uh, if you want to check out my Patreon page, that's what that's all about. Um, it'll be, there'll be a link in the description. Um, okay, so we'll get right into it. So these are the questions from the, uh, the article. And the first one there is uh, points for Kucherov this season. Um, for some reason, my points aren't up there. Um, so I'm going to have to put them up there right now. Okay, so the hockey guy took 111, and there was no particular reason why he took 111. I'm going to take this down for a sec. Um, it was because for, he was having fun with it, number one. And two of the other people in the uh, from the magazine took 111. And, uh, yeah... So I'm actually uh, more serious. I think 115. He's going to get a little bit better, and uh, Tampa Bay is going to be pretty awesome all around, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to choose that. I'm just trying to find the cap because I don't know what I did with it. It's right there. Second question. Um, Got to turn this over. Who scores 50 goals this year? Who scores 50 goals this year? Remember, this, this is the NHL. The Habs will come after. Who scores 50 goals in the NHL uh, this year? So uh, he had Dreisaitl, Ovi, and Tavares. I'm a little different. I picked Dreisaitl, Ovechkin, Debrinkit, and Stamkos. So I'm taking Dreisaitl, Debrinkit, Ovechkin, Stamkos. Say it a little differently, Rick. Next question. Who's the Calder winner this year? I think that's pretty much a lot of people would be agreeing. Capo Caco, both of us say Capo Caco. Pool pick. After Vasilevsky has been taken in nets. So fantasy hockey pools, Vasilevsky's already gone. Who do you take? Hockey guy says Anderson from Toronto. Uh, Frederick Anderson, Toronto. Uh, the Talking Habs says either Binnington or who did I wrote here? Or Price, obviously. Price or Binnington. Price or Binnington. I'm going to pause for a second and switch my microphone. Next one up on the list. I hope you can hear me a little better. I'm not sure from the, it was on the far side. I thought that was a mistake. Crosby or Kane? Cr uh, Sidney Crosby or Patrick Kane? Who has the most points this year? We're in agreement there with Patrick Kane. Um, I think, I'm not sure if Crosby, Crosby can hold 100 points again this year. He's getting older. He's only 32, I think, or 33, something like that. 
but uh, I think Kane still gets a little bit more than him. Next one, Hughes or Kako? Uh, what, Jack Hughes or Capo Kako? Who gets more points this year? We're both in agreement there. And that's Kako Kako. Capo Caco? I'm not sure sometimes. It's, it's, what a name. You, you get so confused over which one's first. Next one up. Uh, Matthews or Tavares? Matthews or Tavares? Who gets more points? Um, and I'm in agreement with him on uh, Tavares. And the reason why, because Matthews usually gets hurt for a good 10 games a year that he doesn't play, and that'll keep him below Tavares with the points. Uh, let's see now. Next one. Uh, dark horse defenseman, dark horse defenseman. So that's who, who's a defenseman who isn't that prominent that's going to have a breakout year, I guess. That's what that means. And he picked Sam Girard of Colorado. Maybe I can move that away in between there. Sam Girard of Colorado. Um, he's going to be paired up probably with uh, Byram or one or, or Makar. He's probably going to have a pretty good year. I agree on that. And I am taking Mikhail Sergachev. Mikhail Sergachev from Tampa Bay, formerly from Montreal. Um, it's going to be his third full, uh, full year. Tampa's loaded. I think they look to lean on him a little bit more as he matures. He gets better. And he's already hit 40 points. I think he can hit 50 possibly this year. So I think uh, uh, Mikhail Sergachev for me. Uh, fantasy pool sleeper pick. That means somebody who's been ha had an offseason or is not... He's going to score more points than normal. Uh, he picked Nick, Schwar Nick Schmaltz. Nick Schmaltz of the uh, Arizona uh, Coyotes. Nick Schmaltz. Um, I think last year he had 25 points, somewhere around then. He thinks he's going to have a big season with uh, Kessel there. And that he's going to have. He's going to be a sleeper pick for, the, for a fantasy pool. I am taking a hab. I'm going with Jordan Wheel. Um, uh, because he, he has put up 20 points. Points, I think in this in, in the NHL already uh, I think he's gonna have around 40 45 I think in a fantasy pool that are, is deep where you're not getting all-star players you've got to go deep that uh, Jordan wheel could be a sleeper pick um, let's see next up who's the biggest bust in the NHL this season who's the biggest bust I'm not really showing this very well am I who's the biggest bust where are we somewhere down right here biggest bust he takes Brendan, Brandon Saad. I'm not sure where he's playing. I know he was in Chicago. I don't think he still is. Uh, maybe he is. He's saying Brandon Saad's going to have about, I remember, I think he said about 35 points, a bit of a letdown. Season's going to be a bust. I am going with my beloved, that's not serious, Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel is going to be a bust in Arizona in that I don't see him putting up 80 points in Arizona. I just don't see it. Uh, he'll have probably 60 to 70. Uh, that's a decent drop-off. He's going to be a bust. Uh, out of playoffs from last year, who misses the playoffs that was in last year? Who misses the playoffs? That is right here. Who misses? We're both in agreement there. I think a lot of people would be, and that's the Blue Jackets. Columbus Blue Jackets misses the playoffs, I think, uh, from last year, I'm pretty much. Uh, we'll probably have a surprise. There'll be somebody else as well. And maybe even a surprise where the Jackets make it and somebody else doesn't. But I, I go and say it's going to be them. Uh, St. Louis, where do they finish overall? Where does St. Louis finish overall at the end of the season? That's right here where my, my finger is right here. Uh, the hockey guy says 11th, but it wasn't a serious thing. He was just saying, yeah, 11th. He thinks they'll make the playoffs. He doesn't know exactly where, but he says that's good enough. And I'm kind of saying in a more serious way, I think 9th. Some ninth or tenth, you know, eight, nine, tenth, somewhere there. So I'm saying ninth. St. Louis finishes ninth. I don't think they win the cup next year again. I think they get knocked out earlier, uh, but I think they finish ninth. Um, that's my feeling. Bounce back team out of these three, who bounces back into the playoffs between Buffalo, Edmonton, and Philadelphia? And here, which is near the bottom, we are in agreement. The hockey guy and myself. We're both picking Philadelphia. Hey, my Philadelphia subscribers. Hey! You can't be mad at me for that. That's a serious... I believe they're going to be the ones bouncing back. So that's Philadelphia. Next up. Who gets the next first cup? Who wins their first cup next? What team? Like uh, last year it was... Uh, well, Wa Washington got theirs. And then uh, St. Louis got theirs. And now who's next? Uh, here we're... 
in a, not, I think I got it wrong here. I, I switched. I switched pages. Uh, bottom three. That's it. Bottom three in the NHL. And in what order? Who's the bottom three in the NHL? And in what order? The hockey guy picks him. Ottawa. L.A. Detroit. And that's from the bottom. Ottawa. L.A. Detroit. Right there on the bottom. I'm going with L.A. No. Ottawa. L.A. And the Ducks. And I think I might have switched it from what I wrote. L.A. Ottawa Ducks. L.A. Ottawa Ducks. I hear the, the uh, L.A. looks like they might be uh, trying to blow. I'm uh, getting rid of this now. Blow up their team. Uh, so if they do that, I think they might finish in the bottom. Okay, I'm going to switch uh, sheets there or uh, boards. Hang on a sec. Okay, we're back. Hope you liked your intermission. I know it wasn't very long, was it? Okay, so next question up after bottom three. Who are the Canadian playoff teams? What Canadian teams make the playoffs? And the hockey guy picks Calgary, Toronto, and Winnipeg. And talking Habs with Rick guy. That means Rick. Picks. Who did I pick? Montreal, Calgary, Toronto, and Winnipeg. And although Winnipeg, I wouldn't surprise me if they miss it, depending on how they, what happens with Lanier and uh, Connor, and how they respond to all the changes. But, yeah, that's basically what I got. Next up, veteran who breaks out. What veteran player who's going to break out with a season unlike he normally has? So a veteran player who has a breakout season. Hockey guy says Eric Howla, who was just traded, I believe, from... Uh, Van Vegas to uh, um, Carolina. Eric Howell, I think, is going to have a good season. Uh, I'm not sure what position I forgot to write down. I apologize. And for me, I'm picking Andreas Ath 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 Athanasiu. And I hope I'm sure I butchered that. Andreas Athanasiu uh, from Detroit, who is one of my favorite players not playing in Montreal. I love the energy this kid has. I love the moves and the speed. I think Detroit has a really good player there, and I think he's going to have a breakout season. Uh, he's had some good seasons, decent seasons. I think he's going to have a good season this year. So that's Andreas Athan Athanasiu from Detroit. I think he's playing center there now. Next question. Trade bait. That means what player would be would be the team would be looking to trade them next season what player do you think team would, team would be looking to, he takes Jonathan Drouin though apparently you're not allowed to say Jonathan Drouin is going to be traded but he took Jonathan no I did sorry I should have cut that out can't uh, Jonathan Quick two Jonathans I got confused really easily he says Jonathan Quick and then he said though you're not allowed to say Jonathan Quick's getting traded but he thinks Jonathan Quick might get traded and I already blew it uh, Jonathan Drouin uh, I think Jonathan Drew is going to be trade bait by trade deadline time next season. Uh, that's my that's my guess. Next up, starter that gets replaced. What goal goalie starter is going to be replaced this season? That means somebody comes up and takes his place and doesn't look back. He's picking Ser uh, Semyon Varlamov, excuse me, who's now in uh, the, on the island, so it wasn't his job there. I don't know if it is. To start with, but he kind of lost his job last year. I guess in Colorado is where Varnamov came from. Last I remember, anyway. Uh, and he's saying it's his to lose there. He's going to lose it in, uh, on the island to Grace. Uh, I'm saying uh, Corey Crawford, Chicago Blackhawks. He's got some problems with injuries last few seasons. I know he did okay, but he's getting older. I think he's going to lose his job. I don't know to who. I'm not going to say that's who I picked. That's who I picked. Kill me for it. What can you do? Uh, next one is uh, 2020 Cup Finals. Who's going to be in the finals in the 2020 Stanley Cup? He's taking Washington and Colorado. Good picks. Washington, Colorado. Not banking on Tampa Bay. Everybody had Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay. I'm taking, and you're going to laugh at me, but it's okay. Pittsburgh and Colorado. Pittsburgh and Colorado, and for this reason. This is basically the last season that Pittsburgh has to make that, to win a cup. This season, next season, I don't even think this season. Um, they might do it. They, who knows? You can never count them out. Uh, Crosby, Malkin, their last chance, we'll see. Uh, but that's who I'm taking in this kind of a thing. And then the last one I said that it was wrong before, 
Next first cup. Who wins the cup for the first time next? We're both in agreement there with the Vegas Golden Knights. With the Vegas Golden Knights. And Louie from VGK Coverage, if you're watching this, ha! You like me better now, I guess? Uh, yeah, I know. Vegas Golden Knights. I can see them doing that. Um, okay, so we're going to switch in a minute. Just give me a minute. I'm going to switch to the Habs version of this. Before we get back to that, if you're a video creator, a live streamer, a vlogger, or a gamer, give TubeBuddy a try on Chrome, Foxfire, or Safari. I use TubeBuddy every day on YouTube, and I couldn't do it without it. I gotta tell you, it's free, and you never have to upgrade. It's great for things like SEO, thumbnails, and analytics, and much more. There's a link in the description down there, so you can try it, and I know if you do, you're going to love it. Um, there's also three payment plans to suit your needs if you decide to upgrade, and uh, TubeBuddy, it's just a basic essential for me doing this. Thanks. Uh, check it out down there. It's in the link down there. Okay, now we're back with the next board. And we've got a few more here. So, we'll go right into it. So, these are the Montreal... Oh, I should say that, eh? These are the 17 things... Oh, I got the wrong board. Yeah. So, these are 17 things... <laughs> okay, I don't make mistakes, do I? 17 things, predictions. I think there's 17 for the Montreal Canadiens for next season. Okay, so we're going to start off right away. Points for Domi. Domi, points. 71 points. I'm not breaking them down. I'm just saying points. 71 points. Next up, who scores 25 goals this year? So 25 goal scores on the Habs. Domi, Galli, and Tatar. Is that how I read it? wrote it? Yeah, Domi, Galli, Tatar. Next up, Calder finalist. Will we have a Car Calder finalist? And I say yes, and uh, Ryan Paling. Ryan Paling, Calder finalist. Lights get in the way. Uh, next up, uh, fantasy pool pick after Price and Domi have been taken off the Habs. Fantasy pool pick after Price and Domi from the Habs. So I've got uh, Galley, KK, and Tatar, those would be who I would go after in that case. Galley, KK, Tatar, and the fantasy pool pick after Price and uh, Domi have been taken. Okay, so now we're going most points. Most points between these two. Drouin and Domi, most points. Where am I? Most points there. Domi. Uh, KK and Paling. I got... <laughs> Come on, Rick. KK. Sherat and Kulak. Sherat and Kulak, most points. Sherat and Kulak. I've got Sherat. I think Sherat gets a little bit more than Kulak this year. Sherat and Kulak. Sherat gets more points. Dark Horse defensemen on the Habs. Dark Horse defenses. I'm not saying Weber or Petrie, that's for sure. Dark Horse defensemen on the Habs. Uh, dark Horse Defenseman. That is Christian Folin. I say that because I read that he's uh, improved his skating a lot, apparently, and he says he's going to have a really good season, and I haven't read anything to the contrary on that, so I'm going to pick him as the Dark Horse. Okay, so we're going to change boards. Be right back. Hey, was that quick enough? That was pretty fast. Okay, so we're back with the last board. This is the last board. So... What's on this board? Fantasy pool sleeper pick from the Habs. Fantasy pool sleeper pick from the Habs. And I think I'm using the same one as on the uh, other thing. Uh, uh, Jordan Wheel. Jordan Wheel would be the sleeper pick because uh, I don't know where it depends where they play him. I think the kid could get 50 points. Depends where they play him. Um, so there you go. Fantasy sleeper pick from the Habs. Jordan Wheel. Next one up. Uh, biggest bust, biggest bust. No one's going to be surprised when I say Jonathan Drouin. Biggest bust, right up at the top there. Biggest bust, John, John, that's my, I think. Could be wrong. Hope I'm wrong. Hope nobody's a bust. And hope Drouin's not, but that's what I think it is going to be. Uh, do we make the playoffs? Do we make the playoffs? Yes, we make the playoffs. What position do we finish in? Fourth in the Atlantic. That's right underneath there. Fourth in the Atlantic. 
Uh, so probably a wild card, obviously. A uh, wild card pick, but we make the playoffs. Um, bounce back player between Kincaid and Lekkonen or both? Do they both bounce back? Does Lekkonen bounce back? Kincaid not so good or vice versa? I say both. And I say Lekkonen bounce back. He had a better year, I think, than the year before, but he hasn't hit his 18 goals and all that. I think he has that year this year. So both are going to be bounce back players. Uh, points for Drouin. Points for Drouin, since I said he's going to be the bust. But I think he gets 58 points. And I'm going to call that 22 goals and 36 assists. And I have those numbers because those are one point on each side uh, better than his previous best. So he'd have bests in both sides, still be only 58 points, and would still be a letdown because you got to expect a lot from this kid. But I get it, he's young. I hope he has a great season. I hope he produces more than that. But we'll have to see. Breakout player. Breakout player this year on the Montreal Canadiens. Breakout. Wheel and Lekkonen. Lekkonen and Wheel. Those are the two Habs breakout players. My opinion. Trade bait this season. Trade bait. Who might get moved this season? Who might get moved? Trade bait this season. It's right over here. I'm saying Drouin. Everyone knows that. And maybe Thompson because maybe by trade, de trade deadline time. There's not much of a role here for Thompson. We'll see how the kids do and all that. So I'm saying Drew and Thompson is possible trade bait this season. Number of starts for Carey Price for finishing it off. Number of starts for Carey Price. I've got 61. 61 starts for Carey Price, which is five down from last season. Finish with the board. Um, I think that's about where he finishes. So that would mean that... Uh, uh, Kincaid would get 21 starts. And I know I said in a previous video 24, but I, I'm changing it up here. Um, okay, and I think that is, that's going to finish us. And if I can find where I am here, obviously. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and it's not too long, it's getting on the long side, give a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And uh, subscribe and ring the notifications bell to be notified of my videos and and all my other things that are, you know, uh, live streams, contests, podcasts, for your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. And join me Saturday nights, and I'm filming this Saturday, so that would be tonight, at 9 p.m. That's every Saturday at 9 p.m. for my Hockey Talk live stream. And then go, Habs, go, and bye, y'all.